So this is one of my daffodil seedlings. It's from a variety called Hill Star. As you can see, it's quite interesting coloring there. Just uh, filming a quick little update on the uh, apple breeding project. And here are the seedlings. There's uh, over 120 now, which is a lot. This is the most I've ever planted. I'm definitely gonna have to get some help next year getting these all in the ground and everything. So one thing I wanted to show you is one of the parents I've been using is called maypole, and it's a small red crab apple, but it's, you know, it's an edible crab apple. It's a little bit crabby, but I'm really interested in it as a parent because it has excellent flavor and very red flesh. So you can see here, this is a maypole seedling, and you see how red it is? It has this uh, red stem and bronze colored leaves. And all of these are maypole seedlings along here and then these right back here. And they're definitely redder. I mean, they really stand out from the rest of the seedlings. And it's not every maypole seedling. For instance, this one here is a maypole seedling. Uh, this is maypole crossed with chestnut crab. And so are the rest of these other three right here. Now over here, this is uh, another very red seedling. This may be the reddest one I I've seen so far. See how bronzy, I mean, see how it just stands out from the rest? Um, it also has this really interesting primitive looking leaf, which may be, mean that it's more of a throwback to like a wild apple or more crabby. I'm not really sure what that means. This one is also crossed with another very red fleshed apple. It's not as red and the tree doesn't show as much red pigment as maypole does, but it's a variety called rubaiyat that Albert Eder bred. And it does have very pink blossoms and very pink flesh in the apple, though it doesn't have red leaves. But I think this shows, you know, maybe the potential for reinforcing the red traits between two red parents, which is kind of a thing I'm hoping for, because if I can get, say, two more refined apples, uh, say like Pink Parfait and William's Pride, that both have light red flesh, but, but high quality, like very high dessert quality, and cross the two, maybe I can boost the red flesh while retaining the dessert quality of those two apples. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I have, you know, I don't research this stuff, so I have no idea. I'm just kind of going by feel here. So anyway, these are ready to go out. You know, I would, ideally I'd be planting these guys out today or even sooner. And the problem is that look down here, you can see there's still seedlings coming up. And, you know, realistically, though, it's going to take me a while to get around to actually preparing beds and planting this stuff out. So, whatever, you know, I'll get to it when I get to it. And usually that will be when they're way too tall, <laughs> like, uh, you know, six to eight, even ten inches sometimes. Although that's definitely not ideal. So let's go take a look at the seedlings down here because some of them are blooming. So this is a little native wildflower that's related to iris. It's called blue-eyed grass. Here's a California poppy that hasn't opened yet. And this has genes from one that's almost red that I planted in the garden and it kind of spread out here into the meadow and is uh, interbreeding with the other ones, which are usually more this color right here. Okay, here's about the most exciting thing. Um, this is a Wixen grenadine cross that's blooming this year. And altogether I have nine varieties that are fruiting of out of my, you know, intentional seedling crosses where I cross two parents intentionally. So that's really exciting. These will be my first intentional crosses to fruit. Um, all of them use grenadine as one of the parents. It's a very red fleshed apple. Not the highest dessert quality, but it has other attributes like the um, excellent fruit punch flavor and intense red flesh. Very exciting. So I used it a lot as a parent, and then I kind of switched to Rubaiyat for a while, and now I'm using more different parents. Here's some more. Yay, exciting, exciting. So this one in particular is kind of interesting to me because the uh, blossoms are pretty pink. You know, they're not definitely not dark pink or anything, but they do show quite a bit of pigment. So that may indicate that this one will have, you know, more red pigment in general and therefore more red flush. I believe this one is a Lady Williams. Grenadine Cross. Yep, Grenadine Lady Williams. So I've been out here with some pollen, you know, pollinating these to make sure that they set fruit. So hopefully all of them will set fruit and I'll have nine different fruits to try. 
when the fruit sets um, and gets it all large, I'll, I'll come and bag the fruit because I don't want birds to get it. So here's my other newer row, to, row of seedlings, and these all pretty much I'll use Rubiot as one of the parents. Yeah, lots of red flushed apple genes in here.